Hello, welcome to Fun Stats. Today's topic is the relationship between our intelligence, personalities, and heredity. We know that genes can affect our appearances, physical abilities, and musical talents to some extent. Then, how about our intelligence and personalities? Can our DNAs affect these? Moreover, how important do environments and our own efforts work? Today, we consider these questions. Today's discussion is based on a paper by Matt McGue and Thomas Bouchard. The title is Genetic and Environmental Influences on Human Behavioral Differences. To handle the questions, we have three methods: twin studies, adoption studies, and gene studies. The basic concept of twin studies is simple. Here assume two pairs of twins. First, Mario and Luigi. Second, Tom and Jerry. Mario and Luigi are monozygotic twins, sharing 100% same genetic information. Tom and Jerry are dizygotic twins, sharing 50% of the same genetic materials, like ordinary siblings. Now, assume that our IQs are 100% pure genes products. Education and environments cannot affect them. Then, what would happen? Mario and Luigi would have very similar IQs, such as 90, because they have the same DNA sets. On the contrary, Tom may have IQ 75, while Jerry's is 105. This happens because they share just 50% similarity of their genes. Thus, by comparing characteristics resemblance between monozygotic and dizygotic twins, we can learn how far our genes influence us. On top of that, let's assume that Dario and Ahiji are monozygotic twins and have been raised separately. by different families in distant places here we tested their iqs and the results were as follows mario 90 luigi 90 dario 95 ahiji 95 what does this result imply we can infer from this that iqs are inheritable because dario and ahiji earned the same score although they haven't shared any environmental circumstances The basic idea of adoption studies is simple too. Jack was raised by his adoptive parent, remote from his biological parent. Assume that the evaluated scores of playing piano abilities were as follows: adoptive parent 30, Jack 70, biological parent 70. What does this indicate? It is probable that piano playing abilities are inheritable because only Jack and his biological parent showed the resemblance gene studies are more direct they analyze our genetic structures and identify genes forming our characters now based on these studies let's see summaries first is our intelligence determined by our genes We have large amounts of extensive studies for this subject. But to put things simply, typical arguments are as follows. What determines our intelligence? 50% heritability. 20% shared environmental influences. It means elements shared by relatives such as family environments and how their parents raise children. 30% non-shared environment influences. It means elements not shared by relatives such as environments outside the families, school experiences and friends. Surprisingly, the effects of genes become more and more apparent as people grow. Look at this. There is no difference in cognitive ability when they are 6 months old, both indicating 68%. However, when age 15, monozygotic twins correlation showed 86% while dizygotic twins was 54%. Of adult twins, the average of monozygotic twins was 83% while dizygotic decreased to 39%. This means that the heritability of our intelligence increases linearly from childhood to adulthood. Then, 
How about our personalities? Does the heredity determine that? One of the widely used schemes for characterizing personality is the Big Five. It consists of extroversion, agreeableness, conscientiousness, neuroticism, and openness. For simply speaking, one of the typical discussions is as follows. These five elements are determined, on average, 41% by heritability, and 7% by shared environments. Then, what about mental disorders? The following is calculated differences of, monozygotic and dizygotic concordances, based on the study. These might be easy to inherit, in descending order. 51% Affective Illness 31% Schizophrenia 19% Alcoholism, Male 14% Bulimia Nervosa 13% Panic Disorder 3% Alcoholism, Female So, based on the study, what is our conclusion today? First, some say that, these remind us of the simple fact that, each of us bears each burden. While some feel easy, others may feel the same, too hard. We should not forget about this, especially for policy makings. Second, in terms of intelligence, there are still 50% we can change. That is significant enough, to affect our lives. It's worth studying hard, and trying to become wiser. Lastly, as some experts argue, gene-environment interactions seem to exist. Some environments could trigger our genes functions. Because we don't know the details yet, all we could do now is, just trying hard to improve ourselves. I hope you enjoy this video. Please do not forget to subscribe. See you soon.